This video is about the spring of 2016 gobbler hunt for Donald Trump supporters at Highland Hill Farm. We're here at Highland Hill Farm. There's a special today. If you're a Trump supporter, you're allowed to come hunt turkey for free, as long as you wear the Make America Great Again hat. This video is not likely to get Democrats upset, and the reason for that is most Democrats aren't hunters. They want their food from food stamps. Second of all, most Democrats don't like guns, so they would never want to be caught on a farm hunting. And third, they wouldn't come to a tree farm where we sell trees because Democrats really want free trees from the government. So if you need free trees or you want free food stamps, call Barry at 202-456-1414 and ask to speak to the main man. He can help you with those problems. But if you are a Trump supporter and you have a little red hat that says, Make America Great Again, for 2016, you can come to Highland Hill Farm and hunt turkeys for free. And we do have a lot of turkeys, and we do sell a lot of screening and buffering trees. So if you hate your neighbor, we can help you out too, because we have large, fast-growing trees that give quick screening and buffering when you hate your neighbor. These are staked willow trees. These are weeping willows. They may not look weeping because we've cut the, cut the tips off so they can grow straighter and taller to start with. We take the tips and we put these in the creek next to the field where we grow them and we let those root out and that's how we get new willows. It's very easy to grow. You don't have to buy a willow from us. But if you want a big willow, we do have them. Willows are exceptionally easy to grow if you have a wet soil. These willows will grow upright and then weep over. We sell them in various forms. We have them bald and burlapped, and we also sell them in large pots. If you need a weeping willow, give us a call at 215-651-8329. And if it's in the early springtime and you just want to try starting one yourself, just take a little bit of a branch, snip it off, and stick it in a muddy place right next to a stream and watch as it roots out quickly and forms a new willow tree for you. Other trees that you can do just like that also include pussy willow. Some of the viburnums will grow like that. And there are a host of other trees that you can root yourself. If you want to have more information on doing it, you can stop into our farm and we'd be glad to show you how we do our rooted cuttings. They're very easy to do, and we do sell them too. We sell small rooted cuttings, and we sell large finished trees, and we do deliver and plant to many eastern U.S. states. You can call us at 215-651-8329 at Highland Hill Farm. Give us a call at Highland Hill Farm for your trees and shrubs, 215-651-8329. We ship from Fountainville, PA, Milan, PA, Lenore, North Carolina, and McNinville, Tennessee. Thank you. Not many white birches are resistant to the bronze birch borer, but this variety, the white satin, does show good resistance to the bronze birch borer, making it an attractive substitute for a white birch in the landscape. This birch has a white satin bark, attractive foliage, and golden fall color. The parent originated from seed distributed by the USDA North Central Plant Introduction Station in Ames, Iowa. It was planted in the mid-70s and it survived other seedlings in the population, which were lost due to the bronze birch borer. The parent tree measures approximately 40 feet in height with 30 foot in spread, and it should be good for USDA zones 5 through 7. This tree is available at Highland Hill Farm, and as a comparison in this video, we should also show you the Duraheat and the Heritage River birch, which we also have available. In the field, we have thousands of regular straight species river birches available for your selection as well. You can call us at Highland Hill Farm at 215-651-8329. Thank you.
This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm, and today I want to tell you a story about Mother's Day. A couple days ago, a man came here looking for a holly for his yard. And when he was ready to pay, he said he also needed a holly for his mom. Now, this man was about my age, so I said to him, uh, well, there's some, some little perennials outside the window here. Just take her one and tell her it's from Bill at Highland Hill Farm. And so he was very happy to get a free perennial for his mother, and I was happy to give it to him. And we struck up a little conversation. And here's the story of that conversation. This man's approximately my age. And he said that his mother was 89. And I asked him, oh, well then your father was probably a vet. And he said, yes, my father was a vet. I said, mine too. And he said that he really missed his father. His father died a couple years ago. And I said, I also. My mother and father are both deceased, and I miss them both. And then he said, uh, was your father in the Army? And I said, no, my father was in the Army Air Corps. And he was, in the, uh, he was saying that uh, his father was in the Army. And he then went on to say that his father was in the Battle of the Bulge and had been captured by the Germans and escaped. And I looked at him and I said, hmm, when I was a kid I knew a man who was also in the Battle of the Bulge and he escaped. And that man was a true hero to me because he taught me an awful lot about life. And he said to me, what was that man's name? And I said, that man's name was Benny Janeski from Lambertville, New Jersey. He looked at me in surprise and awe and he said, that's my father. And so I met Benny Janeski Jr. I had known his father and his mother from many years ago. In fact, I knew they lived on Rock, Rock Hill Road in, in Lambertville, or Rocktown Road in Lambertville, and that his father had a TD9 bulldozer and it started with gas and ran then with diesel. He switched it over from gas to diesel. I knew his father was a great mechanic and a great operator of heavy equipment. And I said to him, you know, I always, I knew his father very well. I saw him sometimes daily back in the, the 60s when I knew him. And so we, we, that's the story I wanted to tell you today about the two men that are mean a lot to me, my father and Benny Janeski.